Hi everybody, DC here. Um, this morning, look, looking at the um, Faraday um, paradox again, and uh, this is the setup here. Um, basically, the paradox is about um, rotating disks, and here we have a, a device which is a wood a wood framework with um, bearings, a bearing shaft here. So this bearing here rotates. There's also a bearing here in a ring magnet or two ring magnets separated with a little bit of copper in the middle. And these are free to rotate either way. And they are generated or forced to rotate by two DC motors here. And the DC motors are controlled by two little pots here, one there and a pot over here. These pots in, in uh, retrospect can be um, changed direction so I can have the motor, motor the DC motor running <coughs> in uh, either direction by flicking the switch there. So um, there's various, uh, I'm trying various methods here to see what the, uh, the outputs can be. And um, obviously, if for those of you that know the Faraday uh, paradox, I've been experimenting with uh, different ideas and thoughts. Um, we've got the, the Tesla bif Biffler or Bifler coil. Um, we've also got a piece of plastic here. It's a composite, it's copper, which is which I've split. It's a two millimeter um, copper plate, thin copper plate with a hole in the middle here and then I've segmented it off. The idea is that it's, I'm thinking maybe it's possible to pull voltage, one volt here, one volt there, one volt there and so on. Possibly and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so as I say we've got the, uh, the Biffler coil here or Bifler coil and then I've got these bearings here, which I'm going to I'm going to mount these bearings in here, so as we can put additional magnets along this this rod here. So it's a work in progress. Just a th few ideas, but um, I've got uh, ideas related to the flux. So um, I'll have to come back to you that one when <laughs> as and when. So that's where we're up to at the moment. I'll just give the um, the device a spin here. We've got the power supply here. It's just on just over 12 volts. So we switch that on. Power supply on. And then let's turn in like this one, this magnet there. As you can see that this here, it's, now it's just rotating on, uh, on the magnet, but it is also free to rotate on this this bar as well. I'm going to switch the other side on now. So at the moment, one disc is going clockwise, and the other one's going anti-clockwise. So, which means we've got a magnetic flux in the middle. So that's where we're at at the moment. Obviously, I can increase the speeds on these motors. Well, I can get them to. Uh, I can get them to go quite fast, around about um, six thousand uh, revs per minute, and I can. I can do that in both directions. All right, I'm just going to switch off. Um, just on the on the board here, uh, the the magnetic flux, as we all know, I'm considering what's happening around the uh, ring magnets with the the magnetic flux, and the red here represents the dielectric. So I'm looking at the dielectric effect as well as the magnetic flux effect that's where I'm at at the moment and we will take it um, we'll take it from there that's DC signing off for now
and uh, hope to see you again soon um, with more experiments on the Faraday paradox. Thank you.